Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm coming with today's word. God is speaking. Today, we're looking at the book of Psalm, chapter 118, verse 24. A very familiar verse of scripture that I believe that some people say without even thinking about it. And it simply says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It says, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. In the Amplified, um, it simply says, uh, this is the day that the, this day in which God has saved me is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Um, the complete Jewish Bible says, this is the day Adonai has made a day for us to rejoice and be glad. So over and over again, no matter what verse, uh, what version you read, it's telling us this is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, every day is a new day. God doesn't have to wake us up, but he does. So every day that we wake up, we should be rejoicing in him and celebrating the fact that we can call him our Father. The fact that we have breath in our body and warm blood flowing through our veins. This day is the day. Jesus tells us, don't worry about tomorrow. This day, listen, this day, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All other things shall be added unto you. We don't have to worry about yesterday. We don't have to worry about tomorrow. But today, this is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Live the newness of today. Listen, the Bible tells us that God daily loads us up with benefits. Are you rejoicing in the benefits of today? That God gives us benefits every day. He loads them up. Listen, he doesn't have to provide provide for us or give us breath in our body or guide our steps or cover us. He doesn't have to keep us. He doesn't have to bless our families or our household. He doesn't have to get us through the test trials, tribulations, and the struggles. But guess what? You have made it through every struggle that you face because you're still here. The Bible tells us get when we're praying to say, give us this day our daily bread. Listen, worry about just today. And when I say worry, I don't mean that you're anxious and stressed out. It means that you are praying and seeking God for everything, that you're concerned just about today, what his purpose is for you today, his plans for you today, that you're praying today and asking him not just for the physical bread, but the spiritual bread, that he's filling you up so you can and be about his business and do his will because man doesn't live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So it's supplying our needs when we ask for our daily bread. Whatever those needs are, spiritual, mental, physical, emotional, financial, and our relationships, our household, our jobs, our ministry, God supplies our needs. And so he daily loads us up with benefits. He gives us this day our daily bread. And don't forget, there's new mercies every day. It says he gives us new mercies every day. Listen, God is faithful. He's constant. He loves you. You're a new creature in Christ Jesus. If you have given your life over to Christ, old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. You are promised abundant and eternal life. This is a day to rejoice because you're in it. And so listen, rejoice by honoring God in everything you do. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he shall direct your path. Trust in him with all your heart. Love him with all your heart, soul, and mind. Give thanksgiving to him for his mercies, for the benefits, and for your daily bread. And rejoice today and live in the newness of it. Walk on purpose, in purpose. Walk intentional and make a difference so that as you're about God's business, he is perfecting that which concerns you and working things together for your good. I know some of you woke up down today, depressed today, feeling weary today, worried today, stressed out today. But guess what? This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. God is with you and if God be for you, who can be against you? Walk with the Lord today. Be encouraged and rejoice because God woke you up today and it's on purpose. God bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us all to walk in the newness of today. Help us to be who you purpose us to be. Help us to walk in divine order. Set up divine appointments. Guide us by your spirit. Use us for your glory. We thank you for supplying our needs, blessing and covering our families. We thank you, Lord God, for being with us. We thank you for your faithfulness that you are good and your mercy and do it forever. We give you praise, glory, and honor, God, for who you are, all that you've done, what you're doing, and what you're about to do in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Don't forget we have a wild movement, Watchmen on the Wall. We pray 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. We're seeking God. We get a word. We pray. We believe for signs, wonders, and miracles. For those on this prayer wall behind me on our prayer list, those on the prayer line, we believe, God, that he will do what he says he's going to do. We stand in the gap for the sick, the incarcerated, the addicted, 
addicted, the abused, the hurting, the unsaved, and the church. Listen, join us. Um, I'm on Facebook Live, on Instagram Live, and on the phone conference line. That information should be underneath this YouTube video. My uh, Facebook name is Tony Brook Brown, um, and my Instagram is Pastor Tony Brown, and the phone number is 218 218- 862-1416 and 8771-POUND is the code. So join us 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Don't forget, share this message with somebody who needs to be encouraged today. Share the gospel with somebody who's not saved. Minister to somebody who is backslidden. And please, if you have already hit the subscribe button, God bless you for the connection. I'm excited. And if you haven't, and you want notifications when I upload videos, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can get notifications. I love you to life. See you next time. God bless you.